afternoon everyone this is Chaitali Bagh chief of bureau with aviation and defense universe I am sitting with a very familiar face on ADO always and many other places Commodore Ranjit Rai he's a former director naval operations in the navy and director naval intelligence he has commanded three ships and has authored books like warring navies india and pakistan we are really privileged to have you here sir and what better that we are going to talk to him about operation trident 1971 well this year's navy day theme is swarnim vijayavarsh which is marking the 50 years of india's victory in indo pakistan war in 1971 and another fact is that operation trident 1971 indian navy day is celebrated due to this operation so no one else better than our own ranjit rai sir to tell us more about this operation trident thank you so much sir for your time and now you have to tell us all about the operation to increase our history to know more about the history well it's a pleasure to talk to you and tell you that my association and i'm happy to say so uh, goes back to op trident because it was almost hands on uh, well the story must begin where it began we imported osa class boats but they were very heavy there was no crane in bombay to take them off so a company called chinoy chablani dealing with russia brought from vladivostok area these four missile boats the first ones that came i luckily happened to be on board kovri and there was another ship field with us and we got these boats unloaded in in uh, calcutta in kidapur docks and we began to tow them to vishakhapatnam the weather on the east coast was very severe to 1971 early and therefore the towing ropes which were wire ropes broke down we arrived in uh, vishakhapatnam asking for more wire ropes but there was a wonderful chief of staff uh, commodore uh, rendhav and he said why don't you try the new nylon rope from garware therefore we made a necklace and therefore a necklace was made to put the nylon rope around the ship each missile boat tow it on to the kovri and to the teer and we brought the missile boats to mumbai now the story is that we didn't realize what's going to happen but the navy realized that with these towing ropes they could take these missile boats to karachi and my personal and nalanda and all the brass i was just a lieutenant commander they thought they will go to karachi so actually they gave a when the war broke out on the fourth they gave and one boat with uh, the western fleet and the corella the captain gandhi a fleet operations officer they gave one boat called vinash they gave it to the fleet and said if anything happens you just go to karachi unfortunately they got caught or they thought they got caught a sea plane a beach craft from pakistan seems to have seen them and it became big that now we've been caught so they turned away and did what they call capturing pakistani ships Admiral Nanda was very upset. Midnight, Mr. Gandhi had said we are on board, so he rang up Bomb- Bombay, that is the chief of uh, CNC, and Mikoli said, "Where is the missile boat? And where is the fleet?" There was radio silence. I luckily, with Admiral Madhavendra Singh, who was then Lieutenant Commander with me on Nilgiri, we were doing duties in the maritime operations room, and there was radio silence. We don't know where is the fleet. He told Admiral Mikoli, "Get on with a trident." So the boats were at Porbandar. and we were seen got the missiles ready kissed them and said now you go to karachi that is how operation trident began going on to karachi kiltan captain uh, uh, stop it agopal rao sorry i let it yeah captain gopal rao who was the task force commander on board kiltan led them towards karachi and of course he thought it was war so he will continue to lead them but the missile boats were under the uh, commander bibru yadav later commodore who got havi chakra gopal rao also got havi chakra they went forward the missile boats who were the missile boats there was uh, nipat and there was uh, late kavina lieutenant commander kavina there was ij sharma lieutenant commander on nirgat and veer lieutenant commander op mehta who is now in london was on wheel so these three boats put on full speed switched out their ram nur radar and my god they saw the western 
the, the western seaboard with good radar coverage of 40 kilometers, 45 kilometers, they saw the Pakistani three ships and immediately got their weapons ready, that is the Oza class um, missile boats have the P-15 called Termit missiles. They got ready, one by one, they sank Khyber, Mafis, and one more ship they sank. And that was provided. Unfortunately, communication broke down. Kiltan kept going, and they fired three of their missiles each. We fired one missile, which we thought had gone to Kemari. Later, it was clarified that it went because the radar of a P-15 Radar opens from left to right, and when it gets the best echo, three times, it dives for it. So it got the echo of the beach in Karachi. So Op Trident is actually, in the annals of naval history, a great operation of two surprise towing boats, which it is not quite capable of the range, but taking them towards their target, actually like a bunch of dogs to go for the Kill. And that is what happened, that all of them got Veer Chakra, uh, Commander Babu Yadav, who was called M25 Missile Boat Squadron. He was given the Mahavir Chakra, the others got, and I think Tomachan, uh, one more, two sailors, also got Veer Chakra. So yes, I'm happy to tell you, it was absolutely uh, a copybook thing. But just what happened, Kiltan did not get the signal, and coming back, therefore, Hiltan wondered where they've all gone. He wanted to go further and give more missile attacks. But that did not take part because Babu Yadav said they're returning at high speed. They were worried about the Air Force coming in. And I must end and tell you that on board uh, one of the ships, Lieutenant Puri, there was a, a leak in the engine room. He put his hands on to the leak and kept both out. That is, a thick cloth burnt his hands, but the ship safely arrived back in Port Bandar. And that was when Western Naval Command, I was there present, at the, the signal Angar came. And it was reported to the CNC. And he knew now the attack on and He must have, of course, phoned up Admiral Nanda, everything's OK. But that was announced to the media next day. By mistake, he was thought Kamari tanks were attacked. But they were actually attacked by the hunters the previous day, which is another story. But Up Trident can never be forgotten by the Indian Navy because the Navy Day is on Up yes. Trident. And I'm glad you asked me because I saw all these officers personally, talked to them when I wrote my book, got the details and went to Pakistan to get their details also to learn about the Air Force attack by the hunters. So the whole story is complete. It was a great operation for the Indian Navy, showing courage of Admiral Landa and the courage of Elmer Kohli and the courage of the whole Indian Navy that we can go to Karachi. Right. So, 1970 war was primarily on land, air force. Navy played, still played a major role in this. What do you have to say in this? Well, the Though Navy... it joined later, but they very played a very major, question. very important role. Uh, if I can be very blunt, as I've written in my book, it is the Navy that hastened on the eastern seaboard, mm -hmm. the surrender by General Niazi. Because as soon as the Vikrant arrived there, they helped the Air Force. There was not a single plane of the Pakistan Air Force. Mm -hmm. So the Air Force was operating happily. Our Elises and our Seahawks were operating without any uh, opposition to hit their airfields, to hit, and of course, the Air Force and went and hit the governor's house when the meeting was taking place. And therefore, one can say that the Bukti Bhani of the Navy sank 60,000 tons. Lieutenant Commander Roy Chaudhary Veer Chakra, Aku Roy Veer Chakra, and two others Veer Chakra. And therefore, they had actually, before the war, softened up East Pakistan. So one cannot get records of those 60,000 because Eastern Naval Command, General Jacob, destroyed if he had not destroyed, there would be huge insurance claim because without war, the Mukti Bhani was operating. But actually, Mukti Bhani was Eastern Pakistan, Bangladesh, trained by the Navy, by Captain Samad, who also wanted to be Mahavi Chakra for operations in the East. So you are absolutely right. Navy did a great task 
ahead of it. But Navy is the smallest service. The army operated along all the frontiers. The army was under great pressure because the Pakistan army was giving them more action. The Indian Navy, except for the sinking of Kukri, uh, was not getting any action. And therefore, <laughs> of tried and followed, sadly, Kukri went down. Right. One important question which came to my mind after reading all the history and of course your account is awesome. It, 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 it felt like we are seeing what has been happening. So, what do you think was the success of Operation Trident? It was um, the surprise element or the strategy? Well, another interesting question. Do you know Admiral Nanda? Mm -hmm. He was the manager of men. He, he, he was absolutely the so he called his naval assistant, Captain Dougal, take four days off, go and write what you would do if the war plan. Mm -hmm. Then he called Captain Dawson, the Commodore Dawson, who I served twice, called him Director of Naval Operations. You tell me if you fought the war, how you would. Edward Krishnan, who became FOC in a brilliant man, called him and said, what would you do? Now, he had named the missile boats AK, Adhar Kumar Captain. He knew the missile boat well. And when he heard about the nylon rope business, which we thought was very minor, he got that idea. And therefore, between the three of them, and Admiral Dandas promise in 1965 that if war comes to India again, the Navy will go to Karachi. He knew Karachi. He had worked in the Karachi Manora port. He had lived in the Karachi Manora port. So his dream was, I can go to Karachi. So you're right. It was combined effort of the entire working team, the naval assistant, Admiral Krishnan, and of course, in the bargain, the director of naval operations who conducted the operation. So one question which comes to me as a journalist about the media reporting. Now, uh, for the 1971 war, 1971 uh, Bangladesh Liberation War, uh, Indian media got always got the secondary information. Obviously, the Indian journalists were not allowed to be there. But for Operation Trident, the reporting was of a different kind. So, your expert comments on that? That question of media reporting is very easy. Times of India was in Bombay, headquarters. The action took place from Bombay. Admiral Kohli on fifth morning told them everything he knows about Op Trident. So, it was very easy to report in those days because BBC, Mark Tully, who knows India very well, and knew India very well, was able to also bring it alive. So what is media reporting? Media reporting is what you get the PTI report, you get the Reuters report, you get the BBC report, and if you're good, we were in the war. The media had some fire of being 24 hours on the job. And therefore, you're right. In a war, like in probably in Kargil, you know, even women of the reporters went up. But in 1971, Bombay was the base of action where the missile boats went and missile boats came back finally. So they were reporting very fast. So they were hands-on and BBC was also reporting. So that is the reason that Operation Trident's reporting has been so elaborate and so quick. And for from the rest of the war and rest of the things that has happened at that time, we find more elaborate reports and accurate reports of Operation Trident. Then I must quote Winston Churchill. There are more stories about victories than there are about defeat. <laughs> my book, uh, Reminiscing the Voyage, should be out on Navy Day. Yes, we are looking forward to it, sir. <laughs> yes, you're right. Winners write more yeah. than the people who lost. But we won and we did win. Absolutely, sir. Right. So it was great speaking to you about the Operation Trident. I'm sure so many new things which, uh, which will uh, even refresh the memory of the veterans. Thank you so much for your time. And we really look forward to hear such nice stories. Now there are stories for us which will inspire the future generations of naval officers. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Always a pleasure. Thank you, sir.